Hi guys. So it is 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. So we're gonna get started here in just a minute. Let me see if anybody pops on. I would like to see. Okay. All right, guys. So tonight what I'm gonna do is I am going to show you guys how to paint that stick wreath um, that I had in my stories. And since today's the first day of fall, I thought that it was appropriate. Um, so I'm gonna wait just a second here and see if anybody pops on. And if not, we'll go ahead and get started. I will show you what I did. Here's what we're gonna make tonight. So, we're gonna make this stick wreath. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. This is done on an 11 by 14. Um, this is my mixed media pad. So, if you don't know what a mixed media pad, it looks like this. You can pretty much pick them up at Walmart, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, any craft store. Um, they're fairly reasonable, but the paper works really well for painting on. So that's one thing. I'm actually gonna do this on an 11 by 14 canvas board. I picked this up at the Dollar Tree. Um, this summer when they had a bunch of them, I bought a whole, um, case of them. Yeah, I'm that person. So anyways, I like to do them on these just for fun. Um, if anybody knows what to put on the back of these to be able to hang them on the wall, let me know. I'm thinking like gluing uh, pop tabs or something to it. I don't know. But anyways, so again, um, we're, I'm going to show you guys how to make this awesome fall wreath sign. So you can do these on canvas, you can do it on paper, you can do it on um, a regular canvas. Like I said, I have a canvas board, so that's what I'm using. Um, what you're going to need is you're going to need some sort of something that's a circle. Hi, Amy. Um, you're gonna need a circle of some sort. So I'm gonna use a plate that I have. It's about the right size. You're gonna need a pencil. You are going to need a very small brush. It's called the liner brush. This one is, I can't even read it. Um, it says five slash zero. This is crafter's choice. I think this is from Hobby Lobby. But you can see it's really small and the other thing that I'm going to use is a number eight round um, and why they're called round is just because the tip of the brush is rounded and if you have it a palette knife if not um, don't worry I'll talk to you about what you can use otherwise now, if you don't want to use a liner brush, you can get a paint pen. It will work just the same. Um, I always lay something down on my table. I'm at my kitchen table right now. So I do have a little bit of shadowing right now, but um, it is what it is. So um, Also, we're putting Dee to bed right now, too. So we're going to see how well he stays up there. Um, so to start out with, you're going to put your plate in the middle of your board. Take your pencil and we're just going to draw around the outside of it. This gives you a pretty good sized circle here. Um, I think this is a salad plate. I'm not sure what this is. It's just a small plate. Um, I don't even know what, what do we think this is. Maybe an 8 inch plate. I'm not sure. I can't read the back of it. So, But that's all we need that plate for. Um... 
what I do to start with is I'm going to take my pencil and I'm basically going to draw this on here and from there I'm going to paint over the top of it with black. So let me show you one of two ways that you can do this. You can draw the, the branches on here just like this and with this being a stick wreath you want to have all the branches going in the same direction. So you can kind of get your gist of them going here and you don't have to put the little pieces on it. You can cross them over. Just whatever you feel and however you like the way it looks. So I'm going to put one here and go on. Like I said, you want to kind of go in the pattern of the circle here, so now this is if you want to freehand it. You do not have to freehand, so let me show you another way to do this. This is just a picture that I printed offline. It kind of gives me an, a rough general idea of how I want my sticks to look. Um, if you have carbon paper, you can put carbon paper down and then lay your picture down and then trace over the top of it. If you do not have carbon paper, let me show you a fun way to do this. So you can take your pencil and you can see where I've already started here. Basically you are just going to scribble where your stuff is. Let me make sure I'm not scribbling all over my canvas here. So basically you can scribble down, make sure you get it covered really good. I do apologize if I'm bouncing the camera around, I'm sorry. So this is a way to trace if you don't have carbon paper. So let me show you what it looks like here. I'm gonna kind of line it up with where I think my circle is on there. And see it's very very faint but you can see it on there this is what I traced just with the um, paper in my pencil hey Julie hey Lisa hey Kendra um, so basically you can take your paper like I just said and scribble on the back and you can trace it that way I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of freehand this I'm not too worried about what my branches are gonna look like so we're just gonna freehand some of this on here. And I, by any means, am not um, particular on where I'm putting these branches. As you can see, I'm just kind of putting some lines on here. I do want all of my uh, sticks kind of to go in a circle. So just make sure when you're drawing it on there, you don't have like some of them going this way and some of them going this way. It looks, um, I mean, I suppose you could, but I think it looks a little better when you do it this way so that's my personal preference so like I said I'm just gonna draw some branches on here nothing fancy and there's a few areas if you wanted to add more onto it you could you could add some longer ones onto it I'm gonna kind of come in here every once in a while and do a couple of them on the inside because I do feel it kind of breaks it up just a little bit. So are you guys excited about today is the first day of fall by the way. Um, I was at Walmart earlier getting some groceries and I came across 
Um, now, I don't drink coffee, so I'm not a pumpkin spice latte girl, but um, I do like pumpkin spice, some of the different flavors of stuff that I've seen. Uh, but they had like Pillsbury pumpkin spice rolls. And I'm guessing they're like cinnamon rolls, but I don't know. So, of course, I had to buy some so we could see what they tasted like. I will have to get back with you to let you know if they are a big fail or not because I have never had them so if you've had them let me know if it's worth my I don't know two or three dollars or however much they were I think I'm gonna add a few more out here. I feel like this is a, there we go. All right, so. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this or not, but I just freehanded some branches on here. It's still over 90 degrees where you're at, Julie. Oh my. Um, we had a fake fall week uh, about two weeks ago where it dropped down to like 50 degrees and the day before it was 90 degrees. Now I'm in Kansas, so I know some of you guys that are watching are from other areas. So Kansas, um, mother nature here in Kansas kind of is bipolar. One day it can be 90 degrees and the next day it could be, you know, 20 degrees. And um, it can fluctuate all those degrees in one day. So it's, um, Kind of funny to to think of it that way but it really does so as you can see i'm doing my um wreath this way but you could actually put it however you want it i mean if you want it to go up and down you could i'm just going to do it this way so it's a little easier for you guys to see hopefully you can see um okay so the colors that i'm going to use for this and you can use whatever colors you want but i'm going to use just a basic black so this is a an acrylic craft paint. Um, you can go to Walmart or Lowe's or, or not Lowe's, but, um, well, you probably can get their paint too, but it might be a little bit more expensive. Um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, Walmart, anywhere that sells craft paint. Those are my local ones around here. Um, I'm going to use orange, a little bit of yellow. This one is saffron yellow, but I kind of liked that color. It's not like Yellow, yellow, I don't know, it reminds me of sunflowers. And then a uh, red and a green. Ignore the, I think those are Paw Patrol stickers on the bottom. So I'm gonna get a little bit of black. Now you don't need a whole ton because we're not actually using a lot of paint for this project. And let me get my stuff here situated um, Facebook has these rules now too normally I would have music or something going but um, but since Facebook uh, doesn't like you to have um, music going they, they they mute you if you have music in the background so that's why it's so quiet all right so basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fine liner brush and I'm gonna get quite a bit of paint on it and we are just gonna paint over the top of where I have the pencil lines. Now, if you don't wanna use a liner brush, this is where I was talking you could use a black paint pen or a black marker, really, if you wanted to. So, and I cannot paint a straight line for the life of me so I have learned that when you are painting freehand, nothing is ever perfect. Actually, when any time I ever paint, nothing is ever perfect. So it's just the way it is. So did you guys all have a good day? Was it nice where you were today? I mean, I know I see Julie said it was 90 degrees. 
Um, I think it got up to about, maybe about, it was probably close to 80 here. Um, it started out really, it was really nice this morning. It was like, I don't know, 65 degrees or so when I left to go to work. And that meme that I posted or that photo that I posted earlier about, it's um, the weather where it's uh, sweater weather in the morning and then tank top weather in the afternoon. That's pretty much exactly like it is right now. So I do think that we might be coming into a little bit cooler weather, but I think it's supposed to rain. So we'll see. I kind of wish it would just decide which, if it's going to be warm or if it's going to be cooler, um, because what happens is it gets cooler and then it warms back up and then we have everybody's allergies go crazy here. So I am going to tell you a little bit. I do have um, very, very crooked pinkies. I was just born special with crooked pinkies. I don't know if you can see them. I'll show you this way. Um, so anytime I write with like an ink pen or anything, it gets all over the side of me. So what I've learned throughout the years, and this is even with using these fine paint brushes, is if you put your, like the tip of your pinky down, instead of laying your whole hand down, it's a little less um, likely that you're going to smear your paint everywhere if you do get your hand in it. So, got my circle on there. Now I'm just going to go through and I'm going to put the branches on. And the nice thing about this is you can make this custom however you want. If you want it to be big and full, you want to do brown, you want to do whatever color, feel free to, to go for it. I actually seen this um, project from another one of my painting friends. And I asked her if she cared if I um, used her design because it was so cute. And I was like, I totally see what I'm talking about. I just did it. I told, told you guys to be careful and look what I just did. But that's okay. Um, anyways, she said yes. So here we are. I thought this would be a great one to show you guys. Um, it's definitely something that you could do, especially if you were going to do it with the marker pens or the paint pens. Um, you could do this with your kids. Or if you're, you know, if you're like me and you don't really like to use the uh, fine paint pen or fine paint brushes like this a lot, you could, um, you know, you could do this with the paint pens that would probably go a lot faster, but that's okay. We're here for the long haul for you guys. So we'll figure out, we'll see what this one looks like. I've done two of them now and each one of them looks different. So if you, um, let me know if you think I should put the same saying that I did on this one, fall sweet fall. This is what we're painting by the way, for those of you that have jumped in a little later. Um, if you think I should put fall, sweet, fall, or maybe there's a different saying I should put on here since I've kind of done that one. Maybe I should put happy fall, y'all, or something. But anyway, I kind of wanted to show you guys. This would be something super simple. And you can always come back and watch the replay. If you want to grab some supplies later and you decide you want to paint this, um, if you do paint it, please post a picture for me so I can see what it what your creation looks like. Because, like I said, every one of these, the leaves and stuff look a little different, so. And that's what happens when I freehand, because nothing ever looks the same. And it's okay if you're um, pen, all your pencil marks don't get covered up. It's all right. What I like about this is it's very, um, it's kind of, it's kind of relaxing and it's kind of fun to watch it, um, 
start to become an actual photo. Like adding these on here compared to when I just had the pencil marks on. Um, let's see who else is on here. Okay. Hi, Lisa. Oh, it's 70 degrees in Wisconsin. Okay. Hey, Jennifer. I haven't seen you in forever. Um, hi, Deb. Thanks for joining me. Hi, Gloria. Ah. Okay. So this is a happy little accident. Did you see what I just did? I just dropped my paintbrush that had paint on it because I was looking at my camera. That's okay. We'll just make it into a branch. So, I always just feel like I'm talking forever, but I feel like I need to talk because if not, then all I'm doing is just painting and, you know, that's not really fun to interact with or anything. So, getting close here, we got about halfway. Who's gonna make one of these? After you watch me do this, who's gonna go in there and uh, who's gonna make one of these? I have been involved in a couple different, um, what we call collaborations where it's a big group of people and we get together and each one of us do some sort of a craft project. I have done a Christmas in July one and then a fall art party one and that one's actually still going on right now. I'm sure if you jump on my page and scroll around a little bit you'll probably find the link to get into that group but they have some amazing stuff in there. Um, I am getting ready to do a Halloween one I believe. And so I actually have decided to do a craft for that one. And I think I'm going to either make a crystal ball, show you guys how to make a crystal, magic crystal ball, or maybe a wand. I'm not really sure yet. I haven't decided, but it'll be something fun. Or you never know, I might decide to just change my mind and do a, a painting for you guys. Um, when I do those collaborations, they're always free. Um, so you guys can jump in and out and look at what you want. And the, the replays are always there for a while. Um, I don't remember how long we're going to leave the replays in the fall one. Last, when we did the Christmas in July, I think we left it for like a, all of July and all of August. So we probably leave these in there for a little while. So. What do you guys think so far? I do that too, especially long brushes. Yep. So, the, the nice thing about this is you can make your branches thick, you can make them thin. Um, but it's kind of coming along here. Kind of digging it. What do you guys think? Should I add more branches or do you think it looks okay? actually surprised little man I call my guy little man um, I'm he's two going on you know 20 because he's very independent and um, <laughs> he sometimes fights us when we put him to bed so he only can't try to come down once so we're gonna cross our fingers on this one the last couple times I tried to go live I I did not have very good success with him staying in bed but that's okay. He was super excited tonight. He got some new tennis shoes. Um, they are Paw Patrol, and I did not realize that they lit up, but he figured that out, that they lit up, and he was telling everybody at the store about his shoes. It was the cutest thing ever. He's very social when he wants to be, and then sometimes he acts like he's shy, and he's just fooling you because he's not shy. All right, I think it looks kind of cool here. So anyways, you just go along and paint your branches just like what I'm doing here. 
And you've seen how I put them on there. I didn't do anything special. I just um, freehanded them. The next step, we will... Okay, so has anybody came up with a different saying? Should I put, like, what I put, ha uh, fall, sweet, fall on this? Or should I do a different saying? Having a hard time trying to decide that one. And... You guys are getting to see it tonight. I'm gonna freehand the words, and I am <laughs> I am not good at freehanding letters, but we're gonna go for it. Anybody have any suggestions on what I should put in the middle for a saying? This is an 11 by 14 canvas board, but you could really do this on whatever size you wanted to. You could make it smaller and you could do this big. Um, you could even do this on wood. I actually think this would be really cool on wood um, and put a nail in it or something or, a, or a, something to be able to hang it like on your front door. But uh, if you're going to do it on wood, just remember that wood soaks the paint in really fast. I'm getting pretty darn close here. this one good okay I don't see any more any big ones that I missed or anything okay, I'm gonna go through and kind of make the circle thicker in a few spots just for texture really Right here looks like I might need a little bit thicker right there I don't know if that'll it. okay so since I have that done I am gonna put okay hey Denise hi Brandy um let's see I am going to put hmm, what shall we write in the middle of this the reason why I'm going to the middle rather than doing the dots yet is because I'm going to let this dry just a minute. So, um, shall we write happy fall or should we write something else? Um, what do you think, love? Happy fall or? Okay, here we go. Happy fall. Let's see. <laughs> 
Let's see how well my lettering is today. I'm using a pencil. This is, now this is where if you had um, something printed out, like a word printed out that you really wanted to put in here, this is where it would be, um, if you're worried about what your word's gonna look like or if it's gonna go sideways or whatever, um, this is where scribbling on the back and putting it down and painting over the top of it or, or tracing it would probably be a good idea with this. Plus you can find some really fancy lettering and fonts. spaced my A too far out, but it's okay. We're just going to go with it. Um, this is also where a paint pen would be your friend if you are nervous about your fingers or if you're shaky, sometimes super shaky. So those that just jumped on, I'm doing Hello Fall on my cotton wreath. Ooh. Oh, you're doing a cotton wreath? Oh, I would like to see that. Like an actual wreath or are you painting one, Julie? You know, my um, fall door uh, hanger that I did for our um, fall craft group. I did hello fall on that one. But I think happy fall looks pretty good here. I forgot to do guys I forgot to get my water in a in a paper towel but that's okay I can grab it here in just a second okay Thank you. My hero. Oop, that's too much. So is anybody going to paint this? Painting a vine, then four pieces of cotton. Ooh, I like it. Hey, Jamie, how are you doing? So I can tell you, I have a very hard time painting a straight line and I am not good at hand lettering. So we're getting pretty, uh, pretty simple basic here. Nothing fancy. <laughs> okay, I am done with happy fall. You can see how I, I spaced it too far out, but that's okay. That's all right. That's what happens when you're freehanding. All right. So our black around is almost dry. So I'm gonna stick my paintbrush in my water. 
I am going to get out some more colors. I'm actually gonna start with orange, I think. And painting a vitamin four. Yes, I would like to see that, Julie. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of orange out here. This is where I'm gonna get your round brush. Now you can use um, whatever you got. I'm just doing, I'm just gonna do, you know, blobs with it really. So I'm just gonna put some paint on. And this is where the fun begins. You just pick wherever you feel like you wanna put some blobs. And I'm not doing anything special here. And don't worry if the black shows through, it's okay. Now this is where it's gonna to come to life too. Showing you kind of what we're doing. Now I've still got some wet black here, so I gotta be a little careful where I'm putting my blobs because I don't wanna smear black everywhere. And I am just randomly putting this places. I am not, hey there, just wanted to pop over. Hey Cher, how are you doing? And good night, because I'm not, I don't know if you're still in my, are you still in Central Standard Time or are you um, a different? Time zone. I can't remember. Let's see. I found out today that a gentleman that I used to work with passed away. He was such a nice guy, and he was, I feel like he was young. lost his battle with um, cancer, actually. Sad. He was a very nice man. Very knowledgeable man. And patient. Alright, All right, what you think? Should I put some more orange? I feel like maybe... Hmm. We'll go here. Boop. And it's even fun when you make the little boop sound. So there we go. Boop. Looks good right there. Maybe one right here. Boop. Okay. So um, ooh, maybe maybe another one. I'm gonna break this up a little bit. I feel like there's a lot right going on right here. Um, okay, so you can either just get some of that paint off. Um, yes, central. But whoop, yes. Um, hey, no problem. You can catch the replay if you like. All right, red. Now, here's the fun thing about this. If you wanna do purple and blue and greens and whatever color, you can do whatever color you want. Notice how I haven't washed my brush off. It's okay, if you wanna wash your brush off, you can. But now I'm just gonna pick up some red and I'm just gonna randomly put red in here. That was a big red. Boop. Let's see what I got going on here. I got a lot. Okay. Maybe there. Maybe there. So what you're doing here is everywhere where you've ended the black branch or the brown branch, whatever color you decide, um, you're gonna put a blob of color. And how's it coming? It's like coming to life on the camera. It's pretty cool. I love watching this. By the way, guys, this is really fun. It's kind of relaxing. So if you need an easy craft to do that's a little bit soothing, that's not too um, particular, this is it right here. 
This is a pretty easy one. I still got some wet paint there, so I'm going to skip that one. Okay. And I'm going to do one there. Mm, let's see. Where should I, else should I put? Maybe the one there. See what I got going on here. I don't have one over here, so I'll put one there. Do one right there. Okay. So I think that's good on my red. Let's grab some yellow. Let's see what it's gonna look like with yellow. I love this. It is so cute. Thank you very much. And I was telling them earlier that this was um, another gal's, uh, a, a painting friend of ours. And she said that I could um, could make it, so I am going for it. All right, so all I'm doing is I'm gonna get some of that paint off my paintbrush. Now you can dip it in the water and do whatever you want, but I'm just gonna leave some on there. Uh, now I'm gonna pick up my yellow and go in in here, and now I'm gonna dab yellow wherever I feel like some yellow needs to be. Like I said, I'm using yellow, red, and orange, and a tiny bit of green. So, we'll pick one there, one there, and that one's still got black paint on it. I'll go there. think that I do I need to put yellow in I feel like there needs to be yellow somewhere right down here there's no yellow right there let's just let's make one right here hmm Bloop. there we go now we have yellow down there okay let's see let's put some yellow good for the yellow. Let's go in here and add a little bit of green. Now you could really, like I said, you could do whatever colors you wanted. You could put, um, you know, Happy Halloween or Boo or whatever inside there and you could just do a bunch of little black balls if you wanted to. I'm not going to wash my paint off. I'm just going to grab some green and go for it here. Let's find the ones that I don't have. There's one. We've got one right there. We've got one there. I don't know if that was supposed to be one, but we'll put one there. I'm going in to try to find all the ones that I didn't put anything on. There's, oh, there's two right in here. There we go. All right, do you guys see any other ones that need paint on them? I think that's all of them. So, I feel like no green in here so let's just make a ball right here let's just let's just do it right here there we go we made another one okay all right so now I'm gonna put my paintbrush in there I think we're good I'm gonna take my paper towel not that I'm actually gonna be using the paintbrush part of it 
but I do don't want to drip water everywhere, so. Now, here's a fun little trick. If you want to ever make polka dots, um, you can always use the bottom of your paintbrush. This is the liner brush that I had, so I'm just going to pick up some orange, and I'm just going to go through here and randomly put some polka dots. I feel like it kind of ties it all together when you do this. And I am just randomly putting them on here, kind of breaking up some of those thick branches here. Take some red and do the same thing. I'm just going to add some dots in here. I don't really want to put any more paint out for that red, but I might have to here. Do some yellow. Get some yellow spots here. All right, I think that I'm done making polka dots. Okay. I think I'm just about done here, guys. So, I have a palette knife. You don't have to have a palette knife if you do not want to do this, but I'm just going to rough up the edges just a little bit. Now, you can use a palette knife, you can use an old credit card, you can use any kind of just plastic or even just a hard piece of something. And, um,. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some paint on there and I might have to put a little bit more black out, so I'm just gonna smear it around on my palette brush. And here's where we go. I'm just gonna rough up a little bit. I have to put a little bit of black out. Dab. All right, I got a lot on there, so I'll be careful because it's going to like all come out at once here. So with the palette brush, you can kind of just pick where you want to kind of rough up your canvas or your paper or whatever. And that's pretty much all I'm doing here is just roughing it up just a little bit. I think it gives it just a little bit of dimension and now if you've never painted with a palette brush, it's kind of fun. I think you can pick these up. Well, they used to have them at the Dollar Tree, um, but I don't know if they still have them at the Dollar Tree or not. This one, I can't remember if it's from Walmart or Dollar Tree or the Hobby Lobby or something like that. Now, I live pretty close to Derby, so Hobby Lobby is um, closer to me than like Michael's or Joann's, but don't let that fool you. I actually go to them frequently too, so. But if I'm in a pinch, then I just run over there to Hobby Lobby. My Walmart here in Derby has been pretty scarce with uh, art supplies, so. I was looking for a, uh, a pencil the other day that you can, like, I don't know if it's, I don't even know what kind it is, but you can, I don't know if it's like a graphite pencil or something, but 
Anyways, if you've never painted with a paint, uh, palette knife or something like this, try it. It's kind of fun. It gives you a lot of different um, ways things end up turning out looking. Okay, I think I better stop before I get too, too crazy here. Okay, that's our painting. So what do you guys think? Go up a little close so you can see it. I don't think it looks pretty darn cool. So here's one on the canvas board. Here is one that I did on a mixed media pad. You can see that they all kind of look just a little different. This one's spread out a little bit more than this one is, but. Okay, so that is how you can paint one of these um, wreaths. So. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this one, but I definitely need to put it somewhere. So that's pretty cute. Do you guys have any questions for me? Hey, Jess, Cami. Um, I do want to show you a painting. I'm going to have a virtual paint party or an online paint party on October the 3rd at 7 p.m. It will be kind of like this. Um, you will provide your own supplies. It's gonna cost $10, um, but to get us in the mood for Halloween, let me show you, it's a black cat. So, kind of like what I did tonight with this one, I'm going to teach you step-by-step step how to paint this black cat's eye, so. Now this one I did on a canvas board, but you can do it on a canvas or paper or whatever. Um, anyways, this one's really cool. So, and then I haven't decided when I'm actually gonna do this one, but I have another one um, that I'm gonna probably do virtual because uh, in-person paint parties just isn't happening right now. So this is another one that you guys are going to be seeing come on my page here pretty soon. This is going to be another virtual paint party. Um, so like I said, I will be posting that one probably maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but how a virtual paint party works is basically just like what I did tonight where I walk through, talk with you. Um, I might do those on Zoom or like in a Facebook group, uh, what do they call them, Facebook room, it's kind of like Zoom. Um, then I can at least interact with you a little bit better. But other than that, um, be on the lookout for that. If you are interested in having like a private party at your house or something like that, just let me know and um, I'm sure we can work some of that stuff out. I know that I was doing a lot of my in-person paint parties at Mad Rocks, um, but I'm just not sure on um, with COVID yet if we can do that. Uh, but I'd be willing to come to somebody's house if you were wanting um, something to, to do like that for a fun girls night. Um, anywho, all right guys, well, I'm gonna jump off here um, have a good rest of your evening and um, I guess sleep well. Thanks for joining me.